did I hear back from the electric company, the gas company, or the credit card company? Oh, or maybe you were looking for this. It's from the IRS. There's nothing from Cemetery Dance Magazine. Yeah. But it doesn't look like there's a check in there. I knew it. You want to know what I think? You've been trying to get published since before we got married, but you know what? You ain't never going to get published. Ever. I was a fool to think you would. I just need some inspiration. Some real inspiration. No, what you need to do is forget about the writing and sell the damn laptop, which we couldn't afford in the first place, so you can pay the bills. The store won't take it back. It's been way over 30 days. Then I guess you'll have to pawn it. You stopped buying so many shoes. I heard that. The Lovecraft. What? The pillow in the window. Did it really belong to H.P. Lovecraft, the writer? What the guy in Pondit said. May I? I can't believe it. H.P. Lovecraft actually slept on this pillow. Think of the dreams it must contain. The inspiration. Yeah. What do you got there? I thought I heard you come in. So how much did you get for the laptop? Oh, the pawn shop was closed. I'll have to try again tomorrow. Well, what are you waiting for? Dinner first, and then you've got to do the bills, Martin. Right. Don't forget to turn out the porch light. You going to bed already? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Aren't you finished with that yet? The dishes took longer than I expected.
through a hall. A golden X sleeps. The tattered eyeless one served him. Crawling on his body. But all we know for sure is she's had a complete mental breakdown. There were no warning signs? No history of mental illness? No medications? No, none. I believe we'll keep her for a series of tests. For now, it's challenging enough just keeping her sedated. I'm very sorry, Mr. Hill. Please come with me. I need to trade this back for my laptop. Now. Cost you an extra 50. Will 40 do? It's all I have till I sell a story. Listening free space. 